What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a little bit different. It's not about one of my cars. It's about one of Pierce's cars. He just acquired this red E30 uh, last week and he's already going crazy with it. We've got a bunch of stuff that we're going to do to this car over this weekend and we're going to completely transform it. So this is going to be a very straightforward before and after video. And I think it's going to be really satisfying being able to see this thing completely transform. You can see the paint is very faded. The, uh, trunk the yeah, we did polish a little spot here. Where was it? It's like right here. It's kind of hard to see. It was really quick by hand, but this thing's gonna transform pretty good, it's I think. Clean up pretty well. Yeah. We only went with the best of coilovers. Right, right, right. Should we tell them now or should we tease them? We gotta do a little unboxing. <laughs> a little unboxing, but so this thing's getting the works. We've already gone around and started to kind of lube up all of the uh, suspension and make sure that it doesn't snap or anything like that. 30 year old cars, all that stuff. But yeah, no, it, uh, it's a really stout car. I love this thing. So we're going to get it a little bit more set up and then we'll reveal the coilovers. I wish I could say that that took us 20 minutes, but that probably took us an hour and a half to get the passenger side off. This thing was in there so bad. Every single stud and everything was totally stripped and was a nightmare, but. 30 years. All right, so you can probably tell from the packaging here. We got the good old Raceland. Woo! Big baller over Good here. Sticker, you know? So this is kind of a build-it-yourself kit. Um, everything is just totally disassembled. There's just four bare struts. So it takes a little bit of uh, takes a little bit of building, but these should be more than enough for this car and uh, for something that he just wants, where it's just a nice cruiser and looks good. I don't think we, I've, have I said what we're doing. We're doing coilovers, wheels, and a full paint correction on the car, all in this one video. So it's gonna be really cool. Dang, look at that. One coil over completed. Four hours. Look at that thing too. A little A3 action, S line. I think I'm gonna turn that into a camera car in the near future. That'll be a lot of fun. But we finally got the passenger side done. I'm not really gonna show much of the other disassemblies and stuff because this took a while, but this side's all done. We're just gonna throw it back in and uh, we put it at kind of a base height and we'll adjust from there if we need to. All right, so one is completely done. It's kind of hard to see in there, but there is a adjustable collar and all of that. This is the way that it's meant to be, but it's all tight, good to go. The only thing that's gonna need to be replaced in the future is the tie rod. Uh, the threads on it completely stripped off and we need a new outer tie rod. Uh, but for now, just for, just for now, moving it around the shop and stuff, uh, we tied it up hopefully it stays in place but this side is done we're gonna slap one of the wheels on it for this car see how it looks it'll probably sit lower when the entire car has a suspension on it but we're eager we want to see what these wheels look like tomorrow I'm gonna do some Steve's coilovers yes sir done. not all the way but pretty far yeah, we're gonna have to max them out. Yeah. Well, you also have to think the rest of your car's at stock height, so it will get lower when the rest of the suspension's in. So in terms of wheel fitment, they're spot on, but they do need to go a little bit lower. He has probably another half an inch of adjustment on the collars for the coilovers. But I do think once all the rest of the suspension is in, it will lower itself quite a bit more. That first coilover was such a nightmare. I don't want to film like in depth for the rest. I will leave a link in the description of this video to how to take the suspension out and swap it for the Raceland suspension if you really, really want to know. Um, I just don't know how long this is going to take, so I don't want to keep filming a crap ton of clips. So time lapse time.
Front is, front's perfect. Back, there's still the, stock yeah. Right so we have one more side to do. That's why the back is still kind of high. But That's gonna look good. the front is awesome. So we're gonna bang the back out right now. I'm and then uh, this thing will be all set. All right, it's late, but the E30 is on Racelands and some DTM wheels, yes. and this thing looks awesome. The red and white pops out so, 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 so well, and uh, tomorrow's paint correction time, so I'm super pumped on that. Not trying to make this video too, too long. I'm hoping to just kind of keep it enjoyable to watch, so, so I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, we're back. So today, we're gonna be covering the paint correction portion of this video. If you guys can tell in here, compared to the fender and the hood, there's quite a lot to do. I'm also testing out a new lens that I got for my full frame camera, my A7S II. So this is a 14 millimeter wide angle lens and it works great for close quarters filming like this so I can get the entire car and all that. But first things first, clay bar. Clay the entire car get every little bit of contaminants out of here, which we know there's a lot, and uh, keep going from there. So let the montage begin. So Pierce is unboxing his, it's a, you said chemical guys pack? Yeah, it's like, um, well basically my dad has a nice three on buffer. Yeah. But I don't like using his all the time. I don't do this too often. Yeah. So he got his own buffer and everything like that comes with all the pads. And uh, he wants to tackle the hood first, which is going to be probably the most satisfying part of this because it's just so oxidized. So I think the uh, before and after on this is gonna be pretty crazy. Cool. Classic old, just tape it up, that way we can get a cool before and after and see what this thing's gonna look like all cleaned up. So uh, let's see what it looks like. Safe to say that paint cleaned up pretty well. Yeah, 30, that's no, more than 30 now. 34 it? years old? 34 years old, I yeah. think so. But I mean, damn. Get some touch up pen for just a little trips here. Little spots there, huh? here and there, but I mean, but the for before just and the, after is crazy. I mean, I'm sure with a real professional job, it would come out a little better, but for what I need. For a quick in yeah. the shop that paint was, correction. What, 10 minutes? Yeah. Off and polish, Not even. Spot. It was cool.
I hope you guys enjoyed that montage of this thing getting corrected. Uh, this thing came back so, so well. You guys remember what it was like before. And uh, it's from pink to an insane transformation. He's using that uh, Meguiar ceramic, the hybrid ceramic. I know TJ uses that all the time on his cars, so we figured we'd give it a shot. And uh, definitely brings out a good color, good shine. Red. 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 Red is best. But this thing came around so, so nice. You guys remember the hood. God damn. This thing is sick. So, I'm gonna continue applying all of the wax. Then we're gonna pull it outside for the first time. We'll get a nice before and after of this thing. Cause it has uh, come a long way in the past two days. So this thing has come around completely and you guys saw the before and after portions and uh, it looks incredible. What's your thoughts? You like how it came out? Yeah, I'm psyched. It's um, far under the budget of what I could find a clean example for. Right. I think we made it into a clean example in no time. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, a little bright right now, but you guys get the idea. It, uh, Paint's not like perfect, perfect, but it's a 35 year old car and uh, it came yeah, around. Quality. Oh yeah, for sure. It got the works, it got coilovers, it got wheels, and it got a full paint correction in, uh, in two days. Tires and we'll get tie rods. Yes, <laughs> so right. <laughs> so the tie rods that are on it right now are kind of broken, uh, so you can't really drive, but they're on the way and we can stare at it in the meantime because it looks beautiful, but I think I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of restoration going on at the shop. This thing rolled in here, dusty, kind of like a barn find, but not really in a barn. But uh, rolled in here, dusty as heck, on two cylinders, running like crap, washed it, fixed it, runs great now, and uh, now it looks the part, so. I, uh, I think he's gonna enjoy it. Be sure to follow him right here. If you guys wanna see updates on this car and all of his other cars and all that good stuff. But I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.